Hi. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Look at this beautiful day. We are so excited to be doing an adaptive vehicle expo here at Easter Seals Crossroads. So this is not your typical tech tip. The tent behind me is where we have some of the most cutting edge adaptive vehicles for people with disabilities to be found the first time all gathered together here in the state of Indiana. So we're going to spend a little time going and checking out some of these vehicles, meeting some of the drivers, and learning about the state of the art when it comes to adaptive driving. So let's go check this out. Hello, I'm Tim Hargis with Braun Ability. Matt Ritter with Superior Van and Mobility. We want to show you something, uh, a brand new, super exciting product that uh, Braun Ability has come out with recently. It is what we call the MXV, which stands for Mobility Crossover Vehicle, and it is the first wheelchair accessible vehicle built on the Ford Explorer uh, chassis. We are uh, located in Winnemac, Indiana, so it, even more exciting, we're in Indianapolis today, and, and this product is made uh, just about an hour and a half north of where we are. This is uh, Matt Ritter's uh, demo vehicle that he uses and has uh, put about 11,000 miles on it so far, so he's done a fantastic job of, of uh, giving us some good feedback on it. I think what we'd like to do is give you a good look at, at just the aesthetics, how, how it looks when, when, the van, or when the SUV is all uh, buttoned up, the styling on it can really uh, have a hard time telling that it's wheelchair accessible. But why don't we go ahead and uh, open it up. Do you have the key fob on you, Matt? Got the key fob. Let's show these folks how the door opens and how the ramp, the in-floor ramp system deploys. So what we'll do is we'll hit the button on the original well, Ford key three times that will make the ramp, uh, the door open, the ramp deploy. And also you'll look, notice that the SUV is starting to lower down. That's called the kneel system. Uh, that just reduces the degree of angle. So whoever's getting in and out of the vehicle, it's easier for them to push up uh, or come down. So I'll do that now. A lot of engineering went into opening that door. We're pretty proud of it, and as you can see, the, the ramp as it deploys out, has it's illuminated, which is fantastic for a, a feature in the evening to really showcase that ramp at, at night and, and provide visibility. So it is, the ramp will support 800 pounds. It's uh, powder-coated aluminum, and it is an in-floor system, so it stows underneath the floor, as you just saw. Um, it's a little over 28 inches wide. So why don't we go ahead and show Matt entering up into the MXV. So this is a, an optional transfer seat base. This is an optional transfer seat base that will allow an individual, maybe that's a chair user that doesn't drive from their chair, they're able to transfer out of their wheelchair into the original driver's seat. Uh, so there's a toggle switch here that you push and uh, it will allow the seat to slide back into the center section of the vehicle and then it will rotate around. So if you had a, a seat here, it could stay in that position, and that will allow the chair user to come in, transfer over into the driver's seat, and then they can swivel it around and put it back in the driver's position, and they'll slide forward up under the wheel so they can drive the vehicle itself. If you happen to be a, driving from your wheelchair and you're in the driver's position or passenger position, uh, you do have a movable shifter here that will slide three, to, to the left and to the right just to give you some additional space if you needed it uh, for your wheelchair when you come in. Right. We tried to uh, optimize the space, uh, our Braun Engineering, with uh, basically working with the space, the interior space that Ford gave us. So we tried to manufacture and find an inch here or an inch there, and that's why we modified that gear shifter to have it slide. Uh, as well as we have modified the backs of the seat bases to allow the uh, wheelchair user's feet on the foot pegs to slide underneath. So again, just trying to optimize the interior space that we have. And as far as exiting after the transfer seat, you just reverse what you did beginning. And then the seat will swivel around and slide back up into that position. And then at that point, they can exit the vehicle if they like. You do have area here in the center, so if it's for um, a child or you know someone else, and they're not going to be in the driver passenger position, but they want to just have the SUV and they want to ride in the center, uh, there is area here, depending on chair size and the individual, that they could ride in the middle while they're in their chair. And then on this particular vehicle, there is two additional seats in the back, 
So for additional passengers, they can ride back here uh, as well. As far as buttons to get in and out while you're inside the vehicle, there's a button on the back side here uh, that you can check out. There's another one, that button's right here. There's another one that's right here, just below the shifter. And then you have one on the B pillar here, which is right here. So those are three different positions that you can hit those buttons to activate the conversion from the inside. As well as your key fob. Right. So. On the other side here, if you have additional passengers uh, and someone needed to exit the vehicle, you can still open the passenger side door without deploying the ramp so someone can step in and out. But you could also do the driver side rear door will also open and the floor is lowered so it's an easy entrance in and out so if you had able-bodied that wanted to get in and out they could do that why don't you come out matt and let's uh i'm glad you just brought that up let's show them how the door opens without the ramp coming out for that feature yeah. i'll go ahead and close it up it's just a nice extra feature because it gives you accessibility to load and unload uh, without having the ramp deployed if you don't need it. And we'll show you that as soon as it closes. Okay, so all you do is simply come up and pull on the handle. The door will open, but you'll see that the ramp stays in the stowed position. So again, just another option and an easy way to, to load and unload. Also, you may no have noticed that the front passenger seat is missing. We have it actually right here. We've pulled it out for demonstration purposes today, but the seat is easily wheeled back up the ramp and locked back down. So both, both seats uh, can, can be made removable, the front driver and the front passenger, to come out if you want to drive from your wheelchair. But uh, we're really excited about it. So how cool was that, right? All kinds of adaptive vehicles, the state of the art for what's happening in adaptive driving. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.